WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's up 26 points, sort of flat. S&P's down 5 points, sort of flat. The Nasdaq 100 down 79. That's half percent move to the downside. Russell's up nearly 1%, 17 points there. Uh, semis are down 7 tenths of a percent, 24.50. you got the trannies up 244 uh, gold is up 13 bucks. Silver's up three pennies. Like to be crude up 17 cents. Natural gas up three penny. And the 30 year treasury printed out at 116.26. That is up 12 ticks. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner with the ES mini. If we get a close today above 45.8050, it would negate its TD9 count top. If we get a close above 45.97, it would negate its roads momentum indicator top, and that would then signal a further rally. Spot volatilics is still below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is a positive for the buyers out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it is consolidated with inside its daily profile. That's after having formed two tops, like the ES Mini, roads momentum indicator top, 16.2850 is the resistance line there, and 16.17350 is the TD9 count top. Support is down at the bottom of that profile. That's at 15,748. U.S. dollar index has been consolidated with inside its daily profile. It has a wave number seven bottom out there. It's trading inside its resistance zone right now. That resistance zone is between 103.42 and 103.76. A close above 103.76 would signal to you and I its intent to rally even further. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold has a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top is at 2072.70, the top of its profile, 2073. Therefore, a close above 2073 would suggest that the A to B equals CD pattern, I don't have that drawn in here now, would be underway. I believe that gets us up. Well, I'll tell you where that gets us up to real quickly here. Yeah, we've got time to do this. We'll put in that potential A to B equals CD pattern out here. Here's our A point. I mean, it's really underway as we speak it's just you've got that td9 count top and that's why i went ahead and got rid of it but right now if we take a look at it it'd be about the 2152 area in the case of silver silver closed above its td9 count resistance level yesterday it's in an a to b equal cd pattern its next price projection level 2614 any bearish reversal candle would confirm a sell the d point pattern light sweet crude is really just trading in between trend line support trend line resistance right now just dealing with profile support and resistance 75 75 78 23 you got a t Nank out bottom inside of natural gas it says you could trade this thing up to about the 289 level. The 30 year treasury also traded with inside profile, a close by 117.13, and we'll see 120 and change. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.